Welcome back to another episode of Sunday Travels. We have an incredible guest. He's a friend of mine and a top fitness expert, Sam Wood. And we are recreating a dish inspired by his childhood growing up in Tasmania. It is Tasmanian lamb with a beautiful spice marinade served with a Jerusalem artichoke puree and a delicious Davidson plum jus. Let's get into it. Can we just like admire the space here? My four year old could have done a better job of this. You couldn't actually have created a meal that sums me up more. I'm ripping into this, don't <laughs> worry about that. So back in the kitchen, Sam, I am so excited because I can punish you this time. That's right. I'm Shoes <laughs> on the other foot, Sarah. I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> I've been into the gym and yeah, you um, drive a hard bargain. So yeah, I'm excited. We're doing a dish that is something special to you. Yeah, very special, very special. It's uh, I know it's about travels and potentially internationally, but this is about me traveling back to my home state of Tasmania, in particular Hobart. And this was always the favorite thing that my mum made me when I was little. There's just something special about the Tassie produce every time I go home, which is as often as I can. Uh, it just affects your taste buds differently. There's uh, something in the water and the weather and everything else down there that just makes it magic. Yeah, it does. And I think there's something about Tasmania, the quality of the produce yeah. and it's the air, it's, you know, the soil. And it's, it's really exciting that we have a place like this in Australia that we can travel to. And I think, you know, everyone's excited about travel, but maybe can't get overseas anytime soon sure, so Tasmania sure. is the perfect place so I've actually got a um, Tasmanian lamb which wonderful we um, have to fit the the brief today and going to serve it with a jus so I've got uh, Davidson plum beautiful so really tangy kind of sweet plum that's going to add into that jus so and that. vibrant as well <laughs> yeah lovely color and I'm going to get you onto the tools as well so you're going to be peeling these artichokes so Jerusalem artichokes we're going to make a really beautiful puree so okay. um, yeah I think it's just all about these different flavors coming together I still feel like your mum's kind of um, Sunday roast lamb <laughs> yep. but we'll just fancy it up a little bit sounds amazing <laughs> and I'm in your capable hands yeah so I'll get you straight all onto right. these on the artichokes for peeling these yes okay. exactly so I um, you know I've actually not been to Tasmania so I want to <gasps> Bombshell? Oh my God, wash your mouth out. I know. So it's, it's interesting you say that because I moved to Melbourne when I was 20. So I'd, and being a Tasmanian, I hadn't really left Tasmania once. I'd been overseas once. Wow. Um, I'd been to Melbourne to see the footy a couple of times, but you know, we didn't have a heap of money and we weren't in this kind of family that gallivanted all over the world or the country. So. For me, it was a real adventure just coming to Melbourne. But as I made friends over here, I'd always talk about Tassie, and Tassie gets a bit of a bad, a bad rap. I haven't know. heard that. I, I mean, but tongue in cheek. Yeah. You know, two heads, and you know, <laughs> all this rubbish. And then I'd, I'd take my friends back. Wait, is there any like scars? No, in that's it. On? I've heard them all. I've heard them all. Don't worry about that. <laughs> But I'd take my friends back <laughs> and they would be blown away at just how incredible the restaurants are and how beautiful Tassie is. And, you know, it, you know there's Mona down there, the mm. art museum, which has completely just transformed, um, you know, tourism in general down there. And every one of my friends would eat humble pie and say, oh my God, I sort of totally <laughs> judge this without actually experiencing it myself. And they all go back now with their families. And it really is a special, special place. I mean, I'm from Hobart and so I'm kind of a bit biased towards the South, but the East Coast is absolutely stunning. Yeah. Uh, I uh, proposed to Snezh on the walk there <laughs> looking out over Wineglass Bay. I know, and I heard a little story about that as well. Do you have any like footage you can share? Um. Yes, no, so I, I worded Evie up, our little girl who was, I think she just turned 10. I said, I'm gonna to propose to your mum. Well, I sort of asked her if it was okay with her. And yeah. I'm gonna to propose to your mum. And she was all excited. And I had the ring and I said, I just want you to get a video and a photo of the moment. <laughs> and so it's a, long, it's a long walk, and in particular, it's a long walk for a 10 year old. But we walked up the sort of hazard trail to where they have this lookout over the wine glass bay, which is a beautiful beach. And I got down on one knee and Evie pressed the wrong button. 
<laughs> so there is no evidence, photo, video, or otherwise, oh, no. um, of the actual proposal. Not that it really matters in the yeah. scheme of things, but it's a bit of an in joke at the moment. But, uh, <laughs> look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm so messy in the kitchen. Uh, I'm chatting away, just <laughs> spilling, uh, spilling peel everywhere. Oh. Yeah, bit, a bit of a bit of an in joke at home. But I, I think it's um, and this is what I feel about you know travel and experience. It's like these little moments that are so life changing. You know, it would have been so magical for Evie to go, and yeah, she would have been young, but that whole experience would have you know influenced her mindset. And yeah, yeah. she hit the wrong button, but I don't know. It's just these experiences that help you grow as a person. Uh, the memories are still there, that's for sure. Exactly. Now, so do you like hot food? Uh, look, talking to you, I feel like I'm <laughs> going to be a total wuss if I say no, but <laughs> I do I do like the taste. Yeah. I just, I sweat and my nose runs. And <laughs> my body sort of, it doesn't shut down, but I, I need to build my tolerance. Okay. I'm going to put a little, little bit. In yeah, there. your little and my looking? little might be different. <laughs> I will yep, just put a little no, bit. Yeah, that's going to uh, blow my <laughs> socks off for sure. And I want to just do, I'm all about spices. I'm about adding flavors to enhance the dish, not like completely wipe it out and, you know, take over the flavor of, of the lamb. So I've just made a little mix up for you specifically uh, of, you know, a few different spices, some smoked paprika. It just helps add smoky flavors yeah. and bring that through. I love that it's been cooked on that and it'll bring that that smokiness. Yeah, really exactly. And it's like, I think there's something about cooking where, you know, you see these experiences through, you know, travel and, and going to different places where it's actually stripping back all the, the tools that we're using. And it's just going back to how you would naturally cook something, whether it's on a barbecue or, you know, cooking out, out over a fire when you're with your family. So I wanted to replicate that today. So I, you just add this on. There's a little bit of fat left on the, the lamb, which is yeah. nice because that's just gonna render and it's gonna add flavor to the lamb. And so you can move on to the Davidson plum. Right, plum. So I'm putting a couple of little spoonfuls of this into the jelly. Yeah, exactly. All right, so there how you go. many would you, two? I think two is good. And just and, gently um, stir it through? Yeah, just gently or stir it through. wait till it's on the heat. Either right. is fine. Okay. So, now we are going to fry off our leeks. So yep. I love using cocoa earth ghee. It doesn't have a lot of flavor as such, like an olive oil or something like that, but it doesn't have the milk solid, so it's not going to burn. And you get the natural flavor of the leek without it sort of being overpowering. Yeah, it? exactly. Yeah. And you know, we're kind of going for classic sort of um, preparations here. So you want quite a neutral flavor. It yeah. looks like a lot, but obviously. Never thought to have leek chips or fries. Yeah. A really nice idea. Okay, so I'm gonna let that ghee melt down, get nice and hot. This is gonna take a little bit of time because it's quite thick. So we're gonna throw this onto our habichi. So. so I've never cooked with one of these. So straight down. Oh, look at that. Oh, and wow. if you, you know, make sure that the, the base, which has that little bit more of the fat is good to start first yeah. on the bottom side. So, and then, yeah, you just let it cook. It's quite a slow cook. So it's going to be really juicy and tender inside, but then have those really beautiful char marks on the outside too. So it's just one of those things where it's like, soak up your surroundings, yeah. enjoy it at home. And it's such a nice way to cook. I can already smell it. <laughs> it smells beautiful. Yeah. Well, this looks unbelievable. <laughs> it's going to be tough to beat my mum's rack of lamb. So the bar oh, has been set very, very high, but this is looking amazing. It's cooked to about a medium, medium rare. Perfect. So got that beautiful char. Our artichoke puree here is pureed together, a little bit of cream, a bit of that ghee, a um, pinch of salt and tarragon. So it's good to go. You can have a taste if you like. Lovely, I will. And I am going to carve, so. Okay. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> what I love about what you do is it's that whole mindset. It's the, the quality and the food that you eat. And it's not this like strict regime where, you know, you're not eating certain food groups and yeah. cutting things out of your diet. And it's a holistic approach. What's your idea behind that? 
Uh, my idea behind it is I think most people get it wrong. I think yeah. personal trainers screaming at you. I think people telling you that you have to restrict your calories so you're starving all the time or um, deprive yourself of your favorite foods or, or drinks or whatever it is mm. forever. I mean, that's just unrealistic, miserable, uh, and, you know, not sustainable. So yeah. I think, you know, my motto is all about progress, not perfection. You know, mm-hmm. move your body as often as you can, hopefully in some way each day, eat real food and um, make it delicious, but also healthy. Yeah. And yeah, practice some kind of mindfulness because life's pretty hectic and it crazy is. and busy. And if you can slow down and sleep well, that makes a massive difference. Yeah. And I think, I mean, that's the, the motto that I like to live by as well is that, you know, I often get asked these questions all the time, like you're, you're a busy mom, you're yeah. traveling and doing all of these things. But it's just, I think when you put so much pressure on yourself to be perfect, that's when you can't maintain. And that's when, you know, things just start yo-yoing, you go up and down. And it's just like, give yourself a break sometimes, yeah. right? Where you're, you know, if you are, have a, a lot of pressure, you know, and things going on at that time, then just allow yourself to feel that and yeah. take a bit of a, you know, step back and, and understand what's going on in your body. I mean, I get asked all the time, how do you get the balance so right? Yeah. And I say, I don't. Exactly. And it's, you allow they yourself. go, oh, that's kind of nice and refreshing to hear. Cause I think they think that they see one percent of your world through instagram or whatever it might be and you know this is how his life is it's like there's still chaos and stress and mm. you know hamburgers and beers and you know like <laughs> it's, it's it's you know trying to get i try to get the balance right like yeah. we all try to get the balance right but uh i would never ever confess to have um to have, to have found the formula that's for sure yeah and i think you know and i love that 28 promotes that and it promotes the balance and and the recipes on you know your platform are just um kind of celebrating life at the same time and i think that's important so this is looking <laughs> i mean this is you couldn't actually have created a meal that sums me up more <laughs> really? tasmanian lamb <laughs> and wonderful sides that are a slightly healthier lower carb option i mean i'm, I'm ripping into this don't worry about that <laughs> Oh my God. Really? So good. That's amazing. That is so good. <laughs> I'm so oh. happy. Please tell me this is all mine and we're not sharing. Yeah, go, go. Yeah. Oh, well, I did have another. No, that's really rude, you know, but I put them down and I was like, you know I'm what? I'm just looking at these two little, uh, <laughs> two little cutlets and going, oh, these are so going. Honestly, nothing makes me happier. And I know how much this dish means to you. So I wanted to make it special and um, yeah, I'm glad you like it. I'm just going to keep eating. <laughs> this yeah. is so good.